I had some some friends and family over and so my phone rings and it's an unknown area code and they're all hyped up. They're all excited. I remember I like took my phone. I'm like, it's coach Tomlin. And my dad heard me and like, he like pointed for me to step outside. So I went on the back porch and started having that conversation. And he kind of told everybody inside, like, Hey, like he's talking to the Steelers head coach. People who don't, who doesn't know you, you got drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers on the sixth mm -hmm. round of the 2017 NFL draft. How awesome is hearing your name being selected? Do you know ahead of time or do you only find out when the pick is in? And with the 213th pick of the 2017 NFL draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Colin Hoba, long snapper from Louisville. So I found out. I forget who was picking the pick before the Steelers, but pretty much as soon as the pick before the Steelers went on the clock um, on TV, I got a phone call. Um, it was it was Coach Tomlin called me and just saying, hey, Colin, like, you know, what are you doing right now? I was like, you know, I'm sitting at home, like trying to take my mind off the draft. He's like, well, I'm going to put your mind on the draft real quick. And like, you know. I told all my friends, I wasn't expecting to get drafted. You never, you know, I don't think anybody, especially a specialist goes into it saying, you know, I'm going to expect to get drafted because you can only lead to disappoint yourself. Um, but I, you know, I'd kind of told everybody like nobody texts me, nobody call me until, you know, this time period. Cause I don't, you know, if my phone rings, like so, something's happening. <laughs> and so I had some, some friends and family over and so my phone rings and it's an unknown area code and they're all hyped up. They're all excited. I remember I like took my phone. I'm like, it's coach Tomlin. And my dad heard me and like, he like pointed for me to step outside. So I went on the back porch and started having that conversation. And he kind of told everybody inside, like, Hey, like he's talking to the Steelers head coach. And then about a minute or so later, I'm on the phone. They'd already told me they're going to draft me. And it popped up on the TV and, you know, everybody started going crazy. And what is the draft process like? Can you tell us, what is like participating on the combine and then what does the next couple months look like for a draft prospect like you, you were? So I got invited to the senior bowl and I got invited to the NFL PA bowl. Um, and then there's a couple more. There's the East West shrine game. There's a tropical bowl. So there's about five or six college all-star games that happen. But I think the last, I think the senior bowl ends like the week of the AFC or NFC championship game. So they kind of go through the end of January. And so I played my last college bowl game. I played the Citrus Bowl. And then I took about two days to kind of collect my thoughts, get my stuff, get my mind ready for this NFL process, sign with an agent and that stuff. And then I trained more specifically for the senior bowl for actually practicing and being in an NFL type environment with their coaching staffs. And then After that was over, I then got invited to the combine. And so then it started a little less like padded football training and a little bit more of the 40, the bench, the vertical, all this, all the numbers that you look at. Um, and kind of in the process, it's funny because your rookie year going into, you know, when you come out of college, that that time feels like it takes forever. And I think it's because you're so used to having something every day and there's a big schedule for you every day and now you're kind of cut loose so it just seems like that each month takes forever you know that month from the last game of the senior bowl the month from the senior bowl to combine from the combine to your pro day from pro day to draft each month kind of seems like it's forever and now you know this in the off season when you're already in the league it just feels like every week just slips by faster and faster um, but really, so my big thing was just kind of take each thing in that month increment that you got and then prepare for that. And then as soon as pro day was over, I really just wanted to prepare myself for OTAs as best as possible. And in the combine, what is that? What was that experience like? Uh, it'd be like sprinting a marathon, I think <laughs> would be the best explanation. It, it was, it's a great honor to get invited um generally only one long snapper gets invited to the combine every year my year there was two so still a, a fantastic honor to be invited to the combine as a long snapper and so I never want to take anything away from it because it's a very very cool experience obviously you get a ton of exposure you get to be in front of pretty much everybody that's a decision maker on an NFL team so it's an invaluable experience 
it's also kind of the four longest days possible because you get there and you're all excited and pumped up and they give you all that free gear. And then you go to the hospital and, you know, they're pulling blood, they're weighing you, they're picking you, they're poking you. I mean, I remember Dalvin Cook had to sit in the MRI machine for like six straight hours just because all his injuries in college and stuff like that. So the that's the first day. And then the second day is just straight. You go, they strip you into your, your compression shorts and a t-shirt and your, ba- you know, that's when you get on stage and they weigh you, they measure you, they do the body fat for you. And so the first two days are just excruciatingly long. I've hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait to do all these, all these things and these tests. And then later on that night you do interviews and teams can start to schedule interviews with you. And so it's just mentally kind of exhausting because you want to be on top of your, your game at all, at all costs. But, and that's just the first two days and you haven't really done anything physical yet. And so, you know, you have guys that some guys aren't trying to eat a whole lot because they want to weigh a certain weight. And then it's like, okay, in two days, you got to do the on-field stuff or you got a bench or you got to, so it's just, it's just a whole lot of chaos, organized chaos. And you're trying your very best because for every single person, I don't care, you know, for this year, if you're Trevor Lawrence and obviously they're not having a combine, but you know, if you're one of these can't miss prospects, it's still the biggest job interview of your life. 